Hello guys, uh, the hacker is me here, and today I'm bringing you a action script tutorial. And today, what I'm going to be showing you is how to create a global variable and how to print that variable into like a text field, like where it says choices here. Um, yeah, I've used this uh, technique in this game that I am developing uh, called Choices. <laughs> so basically, you click start and then you enter your name here. So just name this whatever you want. I'm just going to put draw down and then you click done as you can probably not see <laughs> uh, I'll probably zoom in on this it says hello and then the username so if I rewind go start and then I type in something else and click done it changes to that uh, so yeah uh, basically what you want to do is wait for this to load I don't know why it's taking long click go click bleh get my words mixed up, create a new flash file uh, action script 3.0 and click ok right ok why is this being so stupid right so to create a input text uh, you literally just go to text tool click on this drop down and then click input text it, it's literally that simple uh, you can change your font uh, why is this uh, okay, so you can change your font and whatnot. I'm not gonna change mine. Wow, why is this being absolutely rubbish? Okay, so my computer decided to have a dicky fit. <laughs> so yeah, just click input text and then uh, just drag and drop and whatnot. Well, just drag it on. Uh, give it a an instant name that you will remember. So let's say input. Nope, I'm not allowed square bracket. I don't. I didn't want to put the square bracket there. I want to press enter. Uh, so yeah. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I've said so yeah. So you can make it look my line password or what up. So password you could have. Let's say in the game you could have a a place where you can input password or whatnot. Don't really matter. No, I'm just gonna put an underscore txt there just for six. Right, so then what you want to do is you want to just make a, I'm just going to make a button as well. It says done. And then it's, uh, let's call this start game. Um, F8. No, you're not going to want me. F8. Thank you. Let me just give it start game. Right, okay. So here we have an input field and a really simple button. Right, so now on to the action scripts. And my computer's. Does it? Nope. It's asking me to. Name is entitled one. Yes, I do want to replace it, otherwise, I wouldn't have clicked on it. Right. So go to your timeline, create a new layer for action scripts and whatnot. Alright, so first thing you want to do is put stop so it stops it from going to all the frames. Right, so now I'm just gonna add an event listener uh, for the start game. Why is this not? Okay, that's weird. Skull button. Oh, what? That probably won't change it. Oh, it does. An event listener and then mouse. Event. Don't mouse and scroll down. Then I wanted to do a function called start the game. It's probably going to be confusing. Right, so in your function, uh, I'm assuming you know how to do all this, so I'm not going to bore you with how to to do this and what I'm doing exactly. 
so yeah uh, in your function what you want to do is you want to keep in mind the the name of the input field which I've called input.txt yeah, this is really annoying right so yeah first thing you want to do is up here outside of the function make sure it's outside of the function you want to put var and then whatever you want to call it so I'm going to call mine global user name and you want to equal it to a string Just type that right okay so here you're gonna put um no you don't I need the toilet be right back okay sorry about that so in your function what you want to do is you want to start off by telling the game what you want to equal the new global username so what you want to do is you want to type in weird, movie cliff in brackets you want to put root because that is the very first frame dot and then global u user name equals then what you want it to equal uh, what we want it to equal is your input field and then you want to put the input field whatever you named it is an instance then you want to put dot txt uh, that just means it's the text inside it that it will equal. So now I'm just going to put uh, Tris and then global username to make sure it has done it. And then you want to go to and stop on the next frame. So if you run this, what it should do is once you type something and you click done it will tell you down in the output field down here I uh, don't know if you can actually see my mouse I've had some problems with um, Camtasia not showing the, the mouse so if you and nope the game global shh I didn't misspell global <laughs> So uh, yeah, make sure you spell it correctly. Right, so if you type stuff in here, why is that not? So yeah, you type stuff and you click done. And for some reason, it's not wanting me to do it. Why is this being so stupid? No, I didn't want it to go down. I wanted to go up. Input dot underscore txt start game button start game button input underscore txt why is it not hmm looking early oh wait 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 no cancel if I save it and try um Nah. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, uh, no. Put that back. No. Oh, what the frick? Okay, so there we go. Flash decided to spag out for a second there. Yay. So it turns out I had this as a dynamic te text, not as an input text. <laughs> I don't know how that came about because I'm pretty sure it is an input text. So let's try this again, shall we? Right, okay. Yay! So, we, we can have this as whatever we want. So, let's say, I am God. And you click done. And down here it says, I am God. So, yeah. So, to to use this on a second frame, uh, why is this clicking actions? Just uh, create a, a text box. There. Sounded really weird when I said that text box. Right, yeah. Uh, create, create a dynamic text field or whatever. Uh, give this as an instant name as whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this speech and just got txt. So then go to your 
actions. Uh, no, I want to create an action. Let me create action. Oh, it can. It can have actions to it. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so that decided to just not let me do it. So here you want to put uh, your whatever you called your thingies. That's called my speech.txt, and then you want to put dot text equals movie clip root dot global user name. I'm just gonna put that because it's simple. If you want to put um, hello plus the movie clip, uh, you can do. Uh, if you don't want to type in that movie clip root global username each time, just make a variable. Yeah, do whatever. Make it a string and make it equal the movie clip uh, root dot global username uh, yeah so that's how you do that and to show you that that user actually works like this I believe it. oh what the hell can I access property of method or full num uh, object reference at untitled main frame one I'm just going to say yes, whatever. Nope, it won't let me. Okay, that's why. That action script is supposed to be there. <sighs> Bloody hell, this is taking forever. This is actually taking longer than I expected. <laughs> It's loading so slowly. There we go. Right, so let's say Jordan. This goes on for infinite. Uh, you can add restrictions on top, but this tutorial is already too long for that. So, yep, yeah, it says hello, Jordan. And that's saying no. I don't know why that's saying no. Anyway! <laughs> uh, this has been a tutorial. Hope this has helped you. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, a link will be in the description to the game that I'm making or whenever I finally finish this, so you could play it or whatever. Whatever. Uh, I started this game in Python, like as a project for my school, but I decided to take the flash route because it can actually give you a good GUI. So yeah, hope this tutorial has helped you and see you later.